we are live now we can start good evening a warm welcome to you all to another webinar session with enajuri on gender and sexuality before i begin here's a brief about enajuri to our new audiences who are with us on this beautiful evening today enajuri means the bond of love it signifies unconditional love and it is this bond of unconditional love for his native native land that brought back milind datta the founder of enajuri from us to start a non profit organization in 2018 which engages and promotes numerous initiatives that are striving for social changes honing leadership skills and building entrepreneur capability entrepreneurship capabilities in the northeast including assam are to name a few for the last two years we have been engaging in speaker engaging with speakers from various fields via virtual media to create a network among the people working in the region today we are in conversation with indrani chakravarti she is going to speak on the topic transgender concepts issues faced by them social and parental acceptance importance of sensitization indra mrs indrani chakravarti is passionately working for the upliftment of transgenders she is also a mother of a 16 year old trans girl amulya gautam we welcome you uh, indrani and looking forward to learning and knowing so much from you today over to you yeah good evening am i ma'am you are on mute hello yes we can hear you now yeah hello yes a very good evening to you all to all the listeners so this is indrani indrani chakravarti mother of amulya gautam so my daughter uh, she is a trans girl okay so today i will be i am asked to speak about transgender transgender community the issues faced by them and uh, the social acceptance and mainly i'll emphasize on parental acceptance okay so by the term transgender we usually when whenever usually what we think by the term transgender we consider uh, transgender as hijras okay now all the hijras are no doubt they all are transgenders but all the transgenders are not hijras hijra is a cult is a very small part of the community now transgender is a big umbrella there are trans women there are trans men then there are some non binary also okay who consider themselves as both man and woman and some as neither man nor woman so this is a very big uh, concept a very big uh, there are so many things under this transgenderism so usually uh, we take it as a disease general conception in our society is that transgender or those people the people who behave uh, differently this is a mental disease but this has been recently proved very well proved and that this is not a disease this is just a type okay we, same as we people cisgender people they are also same same as normal as us so there is no difference but uh, it's really painful we have lack of awareness we do not lack of knowledge and uh, so and uh, also negligence on our part to know about gender and sexual sexuality and so we create such things such uh, problems for them we don't understand the concept a person born in a wrong body okay the genitalia determines the sex but then the person what the person's inner soul or the mind what that identifies to that is more important and they they are really beautiful people very beautiful people very good hearted people but yes they are always uh, stigmatized their uh, discrimination is done against them and the society uh, always neglects them and this negligence has put them behind pushed to them behind okay and so i would like to say to all that transgender is as natural as cisgender they are 
a part of this universe they are not not a this is, some people say that this is a concept this is a foreign concept newly it has been introduced in india newly people are it is out of fashion people are following this trend so i need to say that this is not a trend if we go back to ancient india we see that trans there was no discrimination first and foremost okay in ancient india we get the references in our mythology in our history transgenders had a very normal life they were great warriors they were queens and uh, they were doing the security personnel they they were holding very prestigious positions then but after the colonial rule they were criminalized and that was a, just a policy of the uh, rulers mm, the common thing to divide and rule okay and after we got independence we carried on with that only we didn't we never thought of them since this is they are very few in numbers so we never think of them and when it comes to um, someone may say now my daughter is a trans girl then even i was not very much aware do i never had this problem but i was also not very much aware i never talked to me about this gender and all we never had all these discussions in the curriculum in educational curriculum we do not have all these things so when i came to know that my daughter is a trans uh, uh, girl then i educated myself i found that oh this is very natural nothing to be mane embarrassed or nothing to uh, shy of hmm. so then uh, since i am educating myself i came to know that yes this is very much normal and this is okay so i appeal to the people also please come forward to understand the concept and treat everyone equally and second the issues i'll talk about the issues the issues see the first and foremost issue what i feel is their own body their discomfort to be in a body which does not matches with their identity so what can be worse than this the body they are dwelling that they believe in that body is against their identity okay so that is the number one problem faced by transgenders then comes the social negligence and the, the negligence from the family okay the the parents to disown them the siblings uh, the relatives they all discriminate they treat very badly they neglect a transgender child in the family so they have even at times it is seen that they have to leave their house they need to leave their houses roam around beg for their living so uh, this this is the foremost issue i believe a transgender person faces secondly i would say that the second most important issue is they are subjected to sexual abuse if you interact with transgender people you will come to know that yes almost everyone is sexually abused at some point of time okay even my daughter was also abused so this is also people general people they take them for granted they find it very easy they find them a easy prey okay and they are sexually abused <clears throat> all these problems they affect their mental health and Mm, that is the reason sometimes people ask me these uh, community people are very rude they are very harsh okay then why not they go through so much so why not they have now we only have taught them to react in that manner this is we who needs to be blamed then there are educational problems educational issues are there educational institutions they are not aware of the concept the teachers the classmates they also create problem they tease they mock they uh, call them various names make their life more painful okay and then washroom again a big problem for them they are not allowed to go to the washroom they they identify to that uh, to to the gender okay but they they are not allowed and the other one if they visit they are abused
So they have to hold. Now next, um, again, I'll say that uh, there are problems related to documentation also. Okay, after uh, getting educated, after doing everything, and then after uh, we, uh, we, uh, we know that NALSA has given a judgment, the NALSA judgment in 2014, then there is also an act, Transgender Protection Act. But then whether they are implemented in reality, in real life, no, that I myself, I have experienced. Okay, documentation part is again very difficult. I do not have, uh, I went to the Aadhaar office, I do not have that. I uh, I am asked various questions, they do not know the procedure. They, uh, the, they tell me to produce many a things to which I also do that. I produce everything they wanted, but yet they do not know how to change the name and gender in the documents, okay? That is a problem. That is, again, a lack of awareness in government offices. Now, uh, this I have also heard that there is a board. Transgender Protection Board is there. Welfare Board is there. But then what the board is doing? You go ask all the transgenders. They are running from here and there. They are running. Even being a parent, I am also doing the same thing. I move from place to place but I am not getting any help in my documentation process. That is again a problem for my child. Everyone needs an ID. And now my child, yesterday she was having a competition, a national level competition, but she, she was not allowed to participate because she doesn't have a valid proof, ID proof. So that is again hindrance, the hindering her development. So this way, everyone is follow, Everyone faces all these problems. There are many issues. Now, the most important issue, as I say, that these issues are due to lack of awareness. Okay, we are not aware of the concept. We are not aware of the laws. So we create such problems for them. Now, for this, I would now like to say, now like to talk about the parental acceptance. Because I believe charity begins at home. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah. So um, I believe that charity begins at home. Okay. Now, if parents, they only leave their children alone. Huh? So how can they survive a healthy way, in a healthy way? So... I would like to emphasize on parental acceptance. When I came to know, I'll share my experience. When I came to know that my child uh, is a trans girl, okay, then uh, definitely it was a shock for me initially. I was uh, quite uh, shocked because since that, during that time, I was also not very much aware of the fact, okay? And, but one thing I need to mention, being a mother, I knew this from a very early age. Okay, from her very early age, when she was uh, around three or four years, she was inclined to female, in, in, her interests were uh, inclined towards all female uh, activities. Okay, then uh, I used to ask her, Did you want to be, you want to, you want to be like a girl, you want to be a girl? I used to question her. She always answered me that, Ma, I want to be like you. Ah, so I realized that long back, that she is different. Her gender orientation is different. But during that time, I was so scared. I was scared of the society. What society will do? I will be separated from my child. My separate, they will take away my child because I had all these no, notions in my mind, okay? Then later on when she grew up uh, and she came out boldly that, yes, I'm not a uh, boy, I'm a girl, okay? Then she talked with her father. 
she said that uh, she said her father that i am a myth i am i mane my existence is a myth hmm. so that uh, just touched us hmm. that uh, that was really very mane the conversation coming from her side was really very um, shocking uh, then we realized then we educated ourselves we met many people we met the doctors we met the counselor everything and um, yes i'll say that i got lots of cooperation from the people i met okay and um, then i uh, found that uh, since i found that no my daughter is turning sick sick because of her gender orientation because of her discomfort then uh, i tried to help her out because for me uh, for me motherhood is not just carrying and delivering the child it's a feeling okay it's a feeling motherhood is a feeling so i i really fail to understand how people leave their children how they can leave their children everyone tries hard na i try i will always try a better life for my child so whatever be the gender be it a boy or girl doesn't matter now when she came out then my first foremost uh, in uh, wish was to give her a very comfortable life so to for that comfort i understood i very well understood that i need to uh, give her that uh, mental comfort that she is a female i need to treat her as a female okay and that we did we as the parents we did to our child but it is seen in this in our society we see that parents usually do not do that okay they uh, um they do not accept this uh, gender orientation a different gender orientation even they became they torture their children they uh, they they think that this is i have met a person Uh, whose child was a trans girl okay but then the parents were not accepting the fact they thought that she has been misguided by someone see now no one can misguide all these things na i cannot uh, compel you to become a male that is not possible that is your inner self that is your inner orientation now then i talked with them but they were so adamant so adamant they tortured her badly i i i mean i fail to understand where everything lay but parents irrespective of their of the gender or any issue they should love the love for their children should be unconditional love means unconditional okay so this is again this becomes very conditional na throwing out uh, their children because of a different gender orientation so i would like to request through this platform i'd like to request all the parents if they have all the parents of transgender kids if they have any doubt any issues please you can ask me also there are other persons also to help you out this is not an abnormality this is not a disease this is simple very natural and this is a type this is a type of human race a very potent type of human race and i personally from my personal experience i would say that yes they are really blessed they are not just human they are super humans they are blessed in days of of some way they are blessed okay they have a, that potency because they face so many tough times na so tough things they face they yet they um, fight every day they fight for their survival every day they fight for their survival even when there is parental acceptance when the home environment is okay yet out the uh, outside the house they need to face many other. my daughter does that every day and every day i tell her be polite to all be uh, don't lose hope people will understand some day people will understand you will be accepted and please do not react you better respond to everyone's queries or their uh, treatments but please do not react 
ha huh, this this i every day i have to tell my daughter because she faces many a things there were issues many issues my relatives my uh, friends they left us there was a time when they left us but we me my husband we never left our child so i would like to appeal the guardians the teacher the parents please come forward don't leave them don't leave they a day will come when they will make you proud they will make you proud and definitely they will do because they have the capabilities everyone has the capabilities we need to nurture them so this nurturing if not done they will be left alone and then uh, there are cases of suicide then uh, some other things so these are very disturbing and these are very painful at least see my question one what i feel uh, parents parents or say our society ha huh, our society accepts everything all odds there are uh, people i see in around me i see people they are drinkers they are abusive husbands abusive parents but then they are accepted in this society but a person who is very good at studies who is uh, good at uh, nature everything can do a lot for the society is left alone is outcasted just because of a gender variation so that is really hurting and this uh, since this is a minority community very minor this is always harassed always uh, say uh, questioned or uh, there are no uh, means to uh, what to uh, for them to come out and then to live a healthy and uh, happy life okay so that is our responsibility don't you think that this is our responsibility to provide everything equally to all and in this case rather equality then i i would i would like to say that uh, it should be equity then equality the government should come forward not only the government i would request everyone whenever i go i visit any place i uh, i talk about this concept this transgender concept i do not need any platform i can talk i can educate anyone who doesn't know about this so that way also the society may change okay and society will definitely change nowadays there are lots of changes i have seen there are lots of um, uh, um, this uh, many uh, institutions many people are coming out they are supporting okay and uh, but then we need some more something mane yet everything is lacking lacking on the part uh, on their part because they cannot express themselves it is a problem with them the transgender community they cannot express their requirements their wishes very properly they it is their um, say what they they are they become very introvert they do not like to share that yes this is my problem i cannot approach for this and so and we don't understand them so people should try to give them uh, some time listen them properly without any discrimination they should move forward treat them equally okay there are incidents where um, in a uh, public communication public transportation okay in a bus a uh, um, transgender was sitting in a seat and no one was sitting beside that person because she was a trans so these things are these th we are discriminating na we are we are doing this we are stigmatizing we are uh, this uh, um, making all this wrong notions ha huh? we do not educate our kids we do not educate our uh, children that to uh, provide uh, to respect all genders we need to uh, we should do all these things we should start all these things being a mother 
I think it is our responsibility to teach our children about all the genders, um, to respect others, irrespective of gender or say caste, creed, whatever. We have the, our society is always discriminating uh, on the basis of almost everything, say caste, creed, color, everything. Okay, so this is also a great discrimination, but then I would appeal uh, to the society, to the parents particularly, to come forward, to hold their, the hands of their children, their trans kids, and make their life very comfortable. And I can assure that definitely they will not be the losers. They will achieve great things. They, their children will definitely make them proud one day if they are with them. And when parents are with trans kids, okay, so they are secured. Transgender community becomes secured. My child, she is secured because we are there to protect her. Okay. And when people see that I am with my child, my, uh, her father is with her, so everyone comes forward. This parental acceptance will definitely bring a change in the society. Okay. The, the, the society, I have experienced that. Though there are some who has uh, left us, but then majority people are with us now. When they see that, yes, we are having a very normal life. My child is very normal. She writes very well. So she is writing and that makes me happy. My child, uh, she, uh, there was a time when she stopped writing and that pained me the most because uh, this is the thing she she always um, what she always uh, does it very with with her full heart full uh, devotion okay so uh, when she stopped writing i realized that yes she is going through big problems i solved i tried to solve that every time i talk with them so i request the parents please talk with your kids very clearly do not shy out over to in present day situation we need to discuss everything very frankly with our kids with our children so that they can open up to us they can share their problems with us and thereby we can help them okay so I think you uh, got something. Yes, uh, so much of information. So uh, I uh, I can I I am I am actually like uh, at a loss of word. Like you know how you narrated every perspective of uh, how the family feels, how the child feels. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, the, can you elaborate on uh, what the child faces? And you uh, know what kind of effect it has on the child, and yeah. you know the child's perspective a little bit. Uh, see, when a per a person when uh, uh, when they are very small, when a child is very small, they do not understand what gender is, what gender is, what sex is. They do not understand all these things. But as they grow on, okay, they develop. Uh, in case of transgender kids, I would say they develop a tendency. They represent themselves uh, the way they identify themselves. Okay, that, that happens, that occurs from a very childhood. From the very childhood, say after when they attain the age of three, four, hmm, they start showing those things. Okay, it is we who neglect. We... Hmm, overlook all these things okay but it is not that they do not uh, show us they do they identify the uh, the gender they identify into they behave in that manner huh. so and in this way the child faces a lot of problems this i can tell you i can explain you from my experiences okay say a child wants to play with a doll Ah, but being a male child, ah, the parents or the family, the family members are not providing that for that child a doll. They laugh at that child that 
दिस इज समथिंग एबुर स्वाली बुरे खेले हाँ स्वाली बुरे पुतला लगत खेले लड़ाई ने खेले लड़ाई गाड़ी बास एबुर लोग किने क्रिकेट खेले but for them I मतलब that is what I realized is they are fem if a trans uh, gender identifies themselves as a girl okay they are girl they are girl they cannot change their inner self whatever be their genitalia but they cannot change their inner self their identity okay so there again they go to depression we push them to depression okay they are not allowed to act the way they want to so then they grow up they grow up they keep it within themselves they hide themselves their real self they hide it out of fear they do this fear of negligence from the family fear of abuse then fear of the society and when that child goes to school meet other people meet other uh, classmates be teachers whatever they are called names by various names they am i t he say half ladies these are the words okay again uh, a mental trauma these are no one likes to hear all these things so again a mental trauma these affect their studies their uh, self respect is always hurted then uh, in my in my child case what happened when she was 9 years old okay she was only 9 years then and she was very badly sexually molested by the peon of the school and that uh, was mane that uh, made her speechless that made her sick that traumatized her at to such an extent that my child was speechless my child stopped talking stopped mane um, uh, doing anything okay that that time when she is when i came to know when we came to know that yes my child has been harassed by a, a school peon no doubt we took the action against that person but then the harm is already caused the harm is done my child has faced all those things now later on when she grew even more when she grew up from that very school the, the teachers they they called me they said me the principal of that school called me and said me that your child behaves like a girl that's why she he has been uh, molested by the peon everyone will do now tell me whoever gives the right i may behave the any way i like until unless i am not harming the society it is not bad. i don't regard this bad my actions are not bad if i behave like a girl that doesn't gives anyone the permission to molest me this is so mane cheap thinking it was and then i left the school i understood that he is being a babu she may be the principal she may be a woman herself but she is really mane uh, a person not of good values then in the new school she grew up my child grew up and then faced many a problems the people were and later on na after facing all these things i have seen they become very aggressive their behavior there is behavioral changes they become very aggressive because they have to bear so many pain every day then the, uh, this um, they have to adjust every moment they need to act act to satisfy others to satisfy their parents the child has to act according to their parents the child has to act according to their classmates according to their teachers behave like that so and the, the the childhood the childhood is a false mane a drama for them okay a false conception their own self is always hidden with them maybe they go inside the bathroom they behave like what they are actually 
you know they log into the room they behave the way what they are so these are the issues faced by a child okay there are other issues also as i said sexual abuse as i said uh, weird questions my child was asked uh, by uh, her fellow school, classmates about what genitalia she is having okay they forced her to open her clothes they wanted to see her private parts they used to open her bra these are the harassment they face and the teachers and uh, teachers and other people also the entire society they mispronounce we have a habit of mispronouncing we are we every time we go according to the appearance okay a person may look different but may identify as a different gender a girl it's not necessary that a girl can cannot have hair on their body they may they may this is the girl is from her mind the gender the mind the brain decides not the genitalia so the child faces many a problems every day every day they face days or that have you got it yes and uh... yes like you know uh, it really gives me goosebumps like a little child and like we you uh, know parents like do everything to make them safe and then they're not safe out there yeah so I, yeah. yeah and the parents support is so important so uh, yes and uh, how how did you react or how, how did you uh, what actions or how did you uh, make your made your message clear to the people who were like you know, the 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 school people or the people in power and position or people who uh, you know as a child we validate like you know we try to validate ourselves like you know ma'am is not accepting me ma'am did not praise me principal yeah. ma'am thinks i'm not good enough because i do not associate to a particular gender so uh, how did you uh, and these people like you know uh, uh, when when we are when we are professors or we are principals we are at minimum at the age of 35 plus so they already have formed a notion and formed a concept so how do you make your message clear to them and how how as a parent do you like communicate to them and how do you make them accept your child or how do you react how do you get things yes very important very nice question asked okay now see uh, i'll say my experience hmm so when my child came out um, to be a female ha huh, immediately our uh, our reaction was okay you are a girl okay fine the doctors there are doctors to assign all these things to look after your mental health they have done their thing now from uh, parental view from parental view i have realized that if i leave my child okay if i am not with her she will face more problems the circumstances will be such it will be more worse for her then uh, individually when uh, i transformed my child's external look ah uh, um, then individually me and my husband we invited uh, our neighbors our relatives we invited them and then we made them understand that yes even we knew that we thought that we are uh, we have a boy we have a boy child but then you people also know that yes uh, we have a, we are having a boy child but no it's not correct we have come to know that uh, our child is a girl okay she identifies as a binary female so this day we started our um, what what to term it uh, uh, our awareness program okay individual awareness program so men to men we have conveyed our message hmm then i went to the school i went to the amulla school i talked with the principal very boldly and confidently i said that my child is a female child now sir i'm going to change her name her gender and accordingly you also change that in your record hmm so the principal was quite aware of everything he helped me out a lot 
Huh? He said to me, okay, I have seen the very, Mane, you, uh, Mane, I'm shocked that you are very boldly you have presented. Then I even talked with her teachers. I talked with her teachers about uh, pronouns, use of pronouns. Okay, I said that my child, every time she says that you people are uncomfortable in referring her as a girl. Okay, but please do that. I request you. I know I understand it is difficult for you people suddenly from he to she to jump from he to she. But please do that. Think that this, think uh, her as your own child. Think about her pain. I, I aware them. I uh, made them understand that yes, you need to understand my kid's problem and also other kids who may be gender dysphoric or uh, their sex with a different sexual orientation. Okay, so individually I talked with everyone. Then my um, then we had a uh, had an awareness program with Melinda Tassar and all in our in the in Amulya school. There uh, we cleared everything. They understood and um, the school. We asked for a separate toilet. I I I uh, told the principals. I told the principal that uh, when my since class two three, my child never uses the washroom of the school. Because uh, um, because of this problem, okay, the same problem, no assigned uh, washroom was there. So they have provided, the school, Amulya school has provided a toilet, a separate toilet for her, hmm, a general toilet. Gender neutral toilet is a must. So gender neutral toilet doesn't mean a toilet for transgenders. Okay, it is a toilet for everyone. Hmm, this is another misconception people have. Uh, so this is a toilet where everyone can go. So Amulya got that. Then uniform, Amulya uh, shifted to uh, girls uniform. So that these things has helped my child's mental health. She, now she is so, Mane, she, her growth is proper. Okay, her mental growth is proper. So I, every time I go, I individually, even today, even today, if I, if I go anywhere, say it to a government official, to a, any person, any person, I try to convey my message that yes, they also exist. Other than this binary male and female, there are others also. You have to think of them. Hmm. So that is my way of uh, educating the people hmm. this way, so that I can make their life comfortable. Not only my child, but um, others are also there. Okay, other trans kids are also there. Yes, like uh, so, uh, like you know, so humbly you have like you know you have communicated your message, uh, and then like you know, uh, but there are sometimes people do not uh, uh, try to you know do not uh, actively cooperate, or they are like they have their own set of notions. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, how do you deal with such people? And like. Yeah. Every, every day I have to see a person when I said na, they, my, um, my child is not a boy, she is a girl. Then uh, a, a person came and asked me, does she, she, she menstruates? Uh, she is having a period. Uh, then uh, will she get married? Will she have uh, children? Huh. So these are the notions we think to survive in our uh, society. See, this is not derogatory for transgenders. This is also derogatory for we women folk also. Huh? We are not to bleed and procreate. This is not our only job, isn't it? So then I, I have to answer. See, Amula is quite young now. Hmm, she cannot handle all the problems. But yes, I very, uh, in a very different way, I um, answer them. I say that um, there are people who ask me about uh, what about uh, your what you will do. Will she get married? Will she ever get married? And see, if she wishes, then she definitely she will marry. Now I cannot say what she, she will do. Uh, nowadays you cannot force anybody to marry and all. This is her life. She will lead it accordingly. Hmm. Then uh, there are people who may 
not in front of me but maybe i know that maybe at my back they are telling so many things even uh, some people some so reactive people they came to my house in front of me they said that tumar jaga kami hole dik khoy mari pelal den okay so i revolted to that i reacted okay i reacted i said i have produced my child and this is my child my flesh and blood i will decide to keep it or to kill it no one has any thing to say about this my child is as normal as anyone else so these things every day we face we have lost many friends we have also earned many friends okay so this is a life process life is learning we are also learning according to life life is teaching a lot so these people i would like to say again i would like to say to other parents okay if you bother about the society so much we are the society we we me you we make the society okay if we think all um, uh, we need to act according to them according everything according to the societal norms we cannot survive there are other odd things i say the people i say them i say them that that yes uh, what about uh, your child i have heard that he is in the rehab he has fled from the rehab he is a drug addicted person so that is more worse we need to discriminate between good and bad not between girl boy transgender everything blah blah okay so this way i face i no doubt and i answered them <laughs> on behalf of amulya i answered them so yes uh, sometimes like uh, we may not reply for ourselves but but as a mother when it comes to our child we become like you know definitely yes it's definitely yes, yes. yes. So, and uh, mother, yes motherhood motherhood is uh, in itself is uh, what it's the strength okay the strength we have we need, uh, the day i conceived my child from since that very day i promised to myself that yes i need to protect my child whatever way the child may be okay there are some other differently able kids also are there so mother cannot throw them out yes so uh, what are the uh, measures like you want the government to take which would make the life of uh, trans people more easier like there are rules and acts but mm-hmm. then what extra you want so that it becomes yes. more comfortable definitely i was uh, really i want to answer this because i was expecting this question ha huh. now see we know there are various laws very the act has also come as um, uh, is there okay the transgender protection act ha huh. but i would like to request government uh to look into it whether the laws the act is um uh, implemented in the grassroots level because every day i visit a department i find they are not at all aware of the concept okay they some say that yes we have heard about the law ab- about the act but then we do not know how to do this how to act on it okay they cannot even guide us what are the procedures they cannot say us so now we are we are dealing with all this i said to earlier that we are dealing with the documentation uh, portion ha huh? part so documentation part we are uh, we need to change her birth certificate we need to change her aadhar hmm then we need uh, id card there as transgender id card we have applied 3 months back till date it pending we didn't get now since everyone we know that everyone needs a proper a valid id ha huh? so my child is not having any id only the affidavit the um, what uh, the gazette notification gazette publication ha huh? these are all done everything is done from our part but now i am from every uh, every day i am moving from table to table office to office 
to do the documentation um, correctly okay now i have request uh, the government to take measures okay to help them out so that uh, at least uh, there should be awareness program in every department every department they should be aware they should they need to be educated about the concept of transgenderism about the laws and act so that they can um, help us out help uh, the parents as well as other transgender person okay now i have also i know that we have a welfare transgender welfare board over here but then my question to the board is what the board has done till date why there is no awareness when i visit a uh, visit a office i meet with the top post officials okay they are not aware what can i expect from the lower level they they stare at me they say ha huh, you have come to change the gender they themselves they do not know the difference between gender and sex they do not know about transgenderism okay then how can they help us just making laws just passing acts are not going to help you need to look into this that whether your acts your laws are being followed or not they are implemented or not and for that you have to go for awareness program you need to educate everyone there should be special programs on this chapter on this uh, on educating on this chapter okay and uh, uh, the, uh, the welfare i would, i would also like to say the well mane request the welfare board uh, to facilitate the uh, guardians the parents okay we are coming forward please help us you are already there please help us how to proceed we also do not know all the procedures all the legal procedures okay we are also learning we are in the process so we, i request the welfare board also to come forward uh, to facilitate the guardian the parent with all this documentation and all so uh, uh, you are saying about uh, awareness sessions yeah so uh, how do you think like each one of us can contribute in creating this awareness like many yeah. times when we try to create awareness uh, i i was checking that there is no uh, special program which gives us uh, you know that like we have a, a diploma in uh, psychology like we do not have specialized diploma in you know uh, it is creating awareness about uh, you know trans health so how do yeah. you think like we create awareness when we do yeah. not have programs in place what happened actually ha huh? after uh, this after uh, this uh, transgender community has been criminalized ha huh? long back in 18 in 19th century ha huh? 1852 uh, i believe yeah 1852 so since then we have not bane it is a, a long time okay there is a lack so on our part we have lost our root if we see if we see our mythology our indian history we find transgenderism as a very common thing and i myself i believe that yes transgenders they existed they existed in all the ages and they will they are a part of this universe the universe has created this is not a self made thing okay now on our part what that what i was telling you that what i do i never wait for any platform wherever i find that uh, the the people do not know about this concept i try to tell them see i have a daughter i uh, she is a trans girl transgenderism is this she is not abnormal she is very much normal healthy and and uh, i give them a small idea about gender uh, gender and sexual orientations okay now this way we all can do and second when we see when we see a transgender instead of staring at them laughing at them judging them 
we can just be uh, we can just uh, behave very friendly with them in a friendly manner so that we create an example we become an example for rest of the society that they are also they are, there is no harm in talking with them there is no harm in making friendship with them that we can do we can teach our kids we can teach our next generation our children to behave properly irrespective of gender we can we need to teach this thing this is on our part this way only we can make the society beautiful okay we need to teach them uh, to discriminate between good and bad and not uh, people discriminating people on the basis of color creed caste and gender okay these things we should do and every time when we see a transgender we um, uh, i have seen these things that we just ignore them we ignore them say uh, in a uh, uh, train if a group of hijras come Hi, the people they they become very restless and they start ignoring them they are come to take money and they will shout if we do not pay this that but this we have only created that now uh, a cab uh, when a uh, there was a there is a lady she was telling me that day that uh, i am mane uh, i never get a cab do i am ready to pay the legal uh, amount the legal charges ah yet i am not they are not ready to take me so uh, there is a, another child there is another child who is a makeup artist okay now that day she was telling me that aunty i was um, refused uh, but there was a booking for her and she was refused or uh, because she is a transgender so these things are hindering na their path of development so that is the thing these things we need to understand we need to actually main thing is that we need to educate ourselves i have educated myself now i find this very comfortable the same way if everyone educates themselves okay they will understand what this means what this is not a very this is mane the way we presented so long we have we presented it's not that they are as normal as you and me right like end of the day we all are human beings like yes. love yes homo sapiens don't label anyone yes mane manu ami manu hoy thakile bhal Yes. Right. We are yes. human beings, and we actually human beings are losing their humanity, na? Yes. They are losing yes. their humanity. We are losing the, our humanity. Yes. That's so, uh, I have this question: like in workplaces, uh, women rights uh, and uh, no uh, anti-sexual harassment cells are being created for. you know women's uh, uh, protection in the workplaces and uh, in different environments so uh, the vishaka guidelines are there for women rights mm -hmm. so uh, are there any guidelines for like uh, uh, transgender people yeah transgender see there are uh, as i said the transgender protection act that covers the entire episode okay uh, be it in educational institutions or in workplaces the act says that they should uh, they cannot be all should be treated equally they uh, cannot be discriminated on the ground of um, this on the basis of their gender they cannot be discriminated they should be provided with jobs according to their qualifications uh, they should uh, they should be provided with uh, gender neutral toilets washrooms and any harassment against them is punishable hmm now these are all i as i said earlier these are all laws and acts these are not implemented it is the main thing we should look into it that whether they should they are implemented or not i would request the government if uh, the government should create a different cell 
to look into this to uh, in, uh, whether these uh, the laws and uh, acts that are generated are implemented or not okay but there are laws we can we need to fight it out ha uh, few days uh, regarding this i'll i'd like to cite an um, incident ha uh, few days back i have a kid ha uh, she is now she is in uh, bangalore hmm she is a post graduate in biotechnology uh she was denied she was thrown out thrown out of of, of two hotels in guwahati and i went and picked her up from there she was thrown out of the hotel because she was a transgender she is a transgender sorry so these things are we lost and complained we complained against this act um, what is this police complaint has been made and everything we did but then this is the mental setup the mental setup needs to change laws are there government measures are there but then our mental setup needs to change and that is more important and i emphasize on that only parents they should be they should come forward they should help their kids to grow in a better way and the society i appeal please educate yourself create awareness and help each and every community to develop be it minority or majority be it transgender or some others okay please help everyone is same my child is as normal as any other child and um, as i say i don't know this is being a mother i am telling all my kids all my transgender kids na they are really super humans they are blessed with some uh, these or that powers but they are capable of doing more things they are really talented and they are very good people very humble very good people we need to interact with them we need to love them and love is the only way which can change the entire universe okay. yes uh, indrani i i think like we all are reflecting on ourselves listening to your uh, talk today like uh, you know there's so much to take home like you know and uh, it we uh, i for sure i i'm i'm sure many of us there are feeling like you know for the children we parents are their superheroes yeah so when we support them they have these you know superpower wings so no matter what they're growing through like you know going through when they're growing up we should like you know give them the wings and like not try yeah. to like tame them cut their wings just because one individual feel differently from the other so that is all what i would like to say it was so lovely talking with you your personal journey and amulya's personal experience which you've shared has given us so much to you know learn from i'm sure many parents are taking inspiration from like how you have boldly reacted and like you know make made amulya like you know feel comfortable at home like been that super mom and you no know, super dad like the superheroes for your child but so it was lovely having you today i'm telling you a day will come when we will be known by amulya's thing yes. we will be known after amulya and that is my belief all yes. my kids they will excel they will excel just yeah. they need a hand just they need some love so i appeal i again appeal to the society please love them we should need to leave hatred and we need to love them all okay and parents as usual i hope i have mane i my message reaches them parents should understand that kids are my child is my child okay irrespective of whatever genitalia or whatever these that they are having or not isn't it right so uh, with this we come to end of today's session it was lovely having you and uh, no it was lovely talking with you thank you so much thank you so much and thank you to the energy team entire team and to milinda prasad yes thank you